President Roosevelt arranged a concert for me on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial on Easter Sunday. You know, I'm usually used to being on stage and just, here's the stage and there's the audience and it's all dark and you can't see anybody, but here you are looking exactly at the audience and you see how your words are affecting them. The next chapter of my life as a labor organizer began in 1952. I think the most challenging part was just making sure that you had done a thorough enough job so that you would be prepared to go into this performance and be this person the entire time. We've heard so much feedback from, from people about how it like really affected them, people who were in tears at the end of our performances, and we were just like, we had no idea how impactful this could be. This is a great opportunity for you guys to be able to so the class is a character development class which collaborates with the Smithsonian Institution's National Portrait Gallery. It involves being able to play someone physically, the way they move, their rhythms, all of their mannerisms, the, the full picture of what it means to embody someone else, along with an understanding of where their gestures come from. And it was during this time that I witnessed firsthand the way my people were treated. Ultimately, I ended up picking Cesar Chavez because I think a lot of the work that he did is still very relevant today. I went to McKeldin and found some books that were just filled with his writings and speeches. I could really get a feel for his voice. I portrayed Marian Anderson, and she's a classical singer. She has this beautiful, huge portrait right in the middle of the struggle for justice section in the museum. I was really curious as to what else was behind this beautiful voice that has, you know, influenced so many people. The students rise to the occasion pretty quickly. And even if they are afraid or they're meeting new stimulus, they, they keep moving forward. The whole time I just kept thinking about how different it was gonna be with the audience in front of you. After that first monologue, that first showing, I really felt like I was presenting a character that was both a part of me, but also separate from me and something that, that I could share honestly with other people. There's something so beautiful at looking, at thinking about where you were before you began the process. Looking for the first time at a strange person that you don't know, and then by the end of it, it's like you, they've, you've just shared this beautiful relationship with the person that you're portraying. I learned that it, it can take a lot more than just the classroom to do a project. You have to see it as an all-encompassing experience, and it's not just for the class, it's, it's the experience, and it's the education that you get from it. To live and let live. This is the sanity and perfection of living.